Today's grocery haul, you guys, is gonna give you all the Christmas feels. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kira, if you are new, and today I am sharing with you a holiday Costco haul. I think I spent about $606, and this haul is gonna put you in all of the Christmas feels if you're not already. So I went with Vanessa over at Lemonade Mom. We went to Trader Joe's first. I already put that haul up, so if you missed it, I'll make sure to link it in the iCards. It's definitely packed with holiday feels as well. And then we left there, and we headed over to Costco. And I went to her Costco, which I don't get a chance to go to, and everything was just decorated so beautiful. All the Christmas items were out and I found myself getting more like non-food items than I did food items. So I have a really fun haul to share with you guys. Uh, remember, no more giveaway. I'm going to announce my final giveaway winner on Wednesday. If you guys missed that haul, it's my last Walmart haul. I'll link that one for you guys in the iCards as well. This way you can go over and put in your final guesses. And like I said, I'll announce that winner in my Walmart grocery haul coming up this Wednesday. But otherwise, you guys, with no further ado, I'm going to take you down to my kitchen table and I'm going to share with you what I spent $606 on at Costco this time for my holiday haul. All right, you guys, so here is your quick overview of what I spent $606 on at Costco this time. And I did have like one or two big ticket items, but I am really surprised that it added up to as much as it did. But I still got a lot of good goodies and I crossed a lot of Christmas things off of my list. So I still feel good about my shopping purchase. One thing I was able to scoop up again was the 50 non-slip hangers. They did go up a little bit in price. They were $14.99. Now they were $17.99, but they're still worth the value, especially around this time. We do purge towards the end of the year, but then we get new clothes and stuff during Christmas time. And I feel like everybody always needs new hangers. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Uh, I found this, and although I am still dieting, I am going to treat myself to one, maybe two of these, because I think I actually squealed in the ice cream line when I saw them. I know Mason's going to love it, too, because he loves anything peppermint, and he loves his ice cream. But this says Haagen-Dazs Limited Edition Peppermint Bark Ice Cream Bars. Creamy white chocolate ice cream dipped in thick dark chocolate with peppermint candy pieces. That sounds so, so delicious and I'm super excited about it. It sounds very refreshing too. Again, I'll only treat myself to one or two because I'm still trying to work towards my diet goal, but darn, those looked amazing and I know Mason will enjoy them. Uh, I did go ahead and grab the Kirkland 100% uh, organic juice boxes. It's been a very long time since I bought these. I don't even remember if my kids like the, these ones because sometimes they're super picky when it comes to juice boxes, but it's hard to find the 100% juice ones. I typically do my own clear bottles with the lids for their lunch, but sometimes we're just on the go. It's easier to do a lunch, um, a juice box rather, especially during when they're off for Christmas break and Thanksgiving break and all that. It's easier to just have them grab one of these. So I did grab this for convenience it's 20 apple 10 apple grape and 10 fruit punch so cross your fingers that they like them uh, because this is what they are drinking for the next month uh, I did grab this baby and I almost left it in the store because I kill everything but these are all cold winter flowers so I think if I leave this on my porch it'll last like it has like a Christmas tree in here and it has the winter ivy so I think this will last if I put it on my porch oh, we are having some really cold days in Texas already but I just couldn't leave her I like she is just to die for I love the like container it looks all like weathered and vintage and very Christmassy with all the red white and green I just fell in love with it it was $42.99 but I was as I was debating some woman was said honey you deserve it and I said you know what I do deserve it and so I put it in the cart and it came home with me so hopefully if I can get a Christmas tour out you guys will see that in full effect uh, I got some ground beef 
It was $3.99 a pound. I got 6.31 pounds for $25.18. I forgot to get chicken. I was in her Costco and not mine, and I didn't, I guess, go down the right aisle because I don't even remember seeing chicken at all. That was the only thing I was missing. Uh, this is a little bit pricier than I'm used to paying for ground beef, but we haven't even been eating it once a month, so this will, I mean, once a week, rather, so this will last us well over a month. The only thing I didn't get was chicken, so uh, besides that, I I think we're good and stocked on meats between this and Trader Joe's, especially since I did grab our turkey. I got a Butterball Fresh All Natural Turkey, and this was 99 cents a pound, which I thought was fantastic, especially with the elevated prices. I think that's really good. I got a 21 pound turkey, so this came to like 21.22 uh, uh, dollars, $21 dollars and 22 cents rather. And this will last a long time, especially since we're not like eating the same as we used to. I'll be able to get a ton of meals and leftovers out of that. So I'm grateful for that. That'll be our Thanksgiving turkey. Uh, the lady was giving out samples of these and I like twisted Vanessa's arm to eat one because she doesn't like spicy at all. And after I had it, you can taste the cranberry and you can taste the jalapeno, but there's no spice. And she was literally like fighting me in the aisle. I had to like break off the tiniest piece and make her taste it. And then she was like, okay, you're right, they're really good. And I said, yeah. She said, it was almost tricking me. I taste the jalapeno and I'm waiting for the heat, but there was none. These cranberry and jalapeno chicken meatballs were fantastic. Chicken raised with no antibiotics, no nitrates, gluten-free, pork-free, all the things, tons of protein. And I think this would be a great appetizer with some cranberry sauce to dunk into. Ooh-wee, so, so delicious. So we both grabbed that. Uh, we love the wet brushes in our house, and I saw this Disney Princess one has a small wet brush, which I'm going to put in Maya's dance bag, a large one, and a scrunchie, and it's Cinderella. So cute, $12.99, grab that for her. That will go under the Christmas tree. Uh, I did grab the beef loin top sirloin. I just could not leave this in the store. And for $33, which is much steak as in there, I'll get two nice meals out of that. So I was pretty excited about that. Look at that syrup, you guys. Look at that syrup. It says it's select quality crown maple syrup, bourbon barrel aged. And it says limited edition, established 2010, artisan quality and robust flavor that looks so good and we're having little mini chicken and waffles for friendsgiving tomorrow so i'm going to bring that i think that's going to go perfect uh, i got the kirkland butter it is one pound boxes and there are four of them in there and each box is four sticks so all four sticks equal a pound leaving four pounds of the most delicious salted butter for the best price. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, I did get Roblox gift cards for my kids. This was $89.99, so 90 bucks for $100 worth. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, each of my kids are gonna get one of these. I'm gonna take the gift card and then wrap it in a box, like a present. I feel like $25 is a lot of money and my kids love this stuff and so for me it's currency and it's a good gift and they'll love it but I don't want to just like buy stuff to put under the tree and wrap it that they won't love so each of them will have two boxes underneath the Christmas tree and each box will have a $25 gift card in it so I went ahead and grabbed that for them uh, some organic Driscoll raspberries for the kids to pick on uh, I already got my ham for Christmas Daryl loved that we did a ham last year I did like ham egg and cheese sandwiches afterwards and then I did a ham and potato soup like we got so many meals out of it that we did the same thing again for Easter last year like he just really really enjoyed it so I went ahead and already got our ham for Christmas I'm gonna throw it in the freezer and we'll already be set and ready to go again I probably won't go to any of these places like Costco or Trader Joe's or anything till after Christmas I will squeeze in a Sam's trip but that's probably like the end of my specialty stores for the rest of this year I think I'll squeeze in a Dollar Tree at least one maybe two more times in there but for the most part like it's gonna be Walmart and stuff for the rest of the year but I got the Heinz tomato ketchup and the simply I love that it's a three-pack which we were completely out of ketchup which is like blessed me in this house so I'm glad I was able to grab that 
Uh, I got the bag of organic broccoli florets. We use this for like steaming for dinner, but then Maya will just pick on that with ranch dressing for a snack. So I went ahead and grabbed that for her. Uh, I got another two dozen pack of eggs. For some reason, there was a sign that said limit two only. I'm not sure if there's like an egg shortage or something, um, but uh, I'm doing deviled eggs for Friendsgiving tomorrow and I'm doing a Bloody Mary style since we're doing brunch and it sounds really Really interesting it's like tomato paste and horseradish and celery salt uh, inside with the mayo and the egg yolk and then you like rim it with either Old Bay or tahine the egg like the hard-boiled egg po portion and then you put that mixture inside it sounds really different and just fun for a brunch um, but I want to make a bunch of them plus Mason likes hard-boiled eggs to snack on and since they're off next week I thought that would be a good like snack to have in the fridge so I'm gonna probably hard boil all of these and then this way the eggs I have in my refrigerator like we can still save for other things so went ahead and grabbed the two um dozen of those got the double pack of the everything bagels I'm pretty much out of everything I brought home from New York and so um I know my kids can't survive without their bagels and I think this was up in price again it used to be five dollars now it was $7.99 but that's still pretty decent for a dozen because uh, it's like 14 bucks for a dozen back home on Long Island now so the price is right up my alley as far as I am concerned so I went ahead and got those I got Maya her creamy dill pickle chopped salad kit it's a double pack she loves it and I've been taking salad kits like this with me to work I'll just bring this and then I'll make a big bowl of it and I'll add like cooked bacon bits or chicken or something like that and then that ends up being a good meal for me so I stay away from all the carby stuff so I'm uh, the salad kits have been like a great option for me uh, I did get our just bear chicken this time and yay I didn't get the patties I got the actual chicken nuggets although the patties were great they just didn't go as far and I know that the rest of the chicken nuggets that I have I'm gonna use for that chicken and waffle mini chicken and waffle dish tomorrow so uh, I went ahead to get this and replace it uh, I got a Hellman's mayo it's a two quart uh, tub and we used to go through a ton of mayo but since I'm not cooking the same anymore uh, it's been a while since I needed to replace it but we were running out of it so I went ahead and grabbed that completely out of olive oil so I got the organic extra version olive oil just the Kirkland brand but that works just fine uh, I got Clorox too we were completely out of that I think I used my last wash on that this morning so I was glad I was able to get that and then a bunch of non-food items I couldn't believe how much non-food stuff I put in my cart I don't even feel like I got a ton of food like I normally do like this was pretty much like non-food items but look at this dress you guys it could not leave it in the store I just fell in love there were other colors and stuff and ones that had like little fur jackets but I just could picture Maya in this the green with her eyes and stuff I just I can't wait to put her in this I'm not sure if I'm gonna let her wear it to school like on the last day we don't really do a big Christmas Eve like with family and stuff anymore so there's no need for her really to get dressed up unless she wants to dress up to stay here um, or if we want to use it for church or something but I I just I mean look at it I, I can just see my little girl in this dress and it, I just am so excited. It was $15.99. I thought that was a great price for that. I got her a size 7. That should fit her just fine. But I am so excited to put her in that. And then I saw this. And each of the kids get a couple of outfits. So she'll get this for Christmas. But it has kind of like a Parker. A light one. It's not very, very heavy. But it has like the sweatery kind of sleeves. And then the like that kind of material for the jacket but then if you look here on the picture it also comes with a short sleeve cinderella and uh that's not pocahontas that is jasmine Jeez, kira you are tired not enough coffee cinderella and jasmine and it says true oh be true to you is what it says and i thought that was sweet it has the little logo of all the princesses on there and then it comes with pants too it has like silky pants and so they're gray and like this pretty teal color and then it says print the princess oh yeah princess down the side with like a little bell 
logo. So I thought that was really cute. She's going to love that. That's the shirt right there and it's all glittery and stuff. So each of the kids get a couple of outfits under the tree. So this will be one of hers. Uh, I did grab this. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use it all, if I'm gonna use it for gifts. Uh, they were $8.99, which is such a great price um, for a ton of dish towels, especially if you think about like what you would spend per one in the Dollar Tree. Um, these are good and thick. So this one says Gnome Sweet Gnome, and there's two of those. And then there's two red and two gray, and I have the quilted ones. I got these once before with bees, and I split some with V. And um, this one has a gnome on it, and it says Noel on it, but I needed some new ones. And I also think these are great for gifts. Like if you put a little gift card with a dish towel and then a little like piece of chocolate or a candle or, I ha oh, this would go great with the, I already bought those vintage Christmas soaps. So if we put the dish towel with the kitchen sink soap and then a gift card, that's kind of cute, right? With a little um, like candy or one of those Dunkin' dark chocolate mix in the cup kind of things um, that I got from Trader Joe's, the little hot cocoa stick that would be really cute i think that'll be really good for some gifts so i went and head and grabbed that uh got this for my mom it's a mickey mouse two-piece jogger lounge set she loves anything mickey mouse and she loves to lounge and she loves like soft stuff like this so i went ahead and grabbed that for her i think she's going to like it uh, I also got some uh, a pack of men's weatherproof outdoor crew socks. Jake needs black socks for work. So I went ahead and got those for him. And then I also got uh, some undies. Got the 32 degrees cool. Um, all the guys in the house absolutely love these. They say that they're really, really breathable. And they work really well. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Everybody needs underwear and socks under the Christmas tree. Uh, I got this. I actually got this as a joke. We do need some ibuprofen, but uh, one of my managers at work, every day she comes in, she's like, can I have your little blue magic pills? I'm like, they're not blue magic pills, Avery. They're just ibuprofen that I get from Costco. And she's like, I know, but they're the best that I've ever had work. I said, it's literally just knockoff Advil. She said, nope, Advil doesn't work for me. I'm like, but that's what this is. It's just Kirkland brand. Nope, she's literally obsessed. So this is a half a Christmas present. I'm going to uh, put, there's two bottles in here. There's 180 tablets in each bottle. So I'm gonna put one of the bottles in the Christmas gift bag that I'm putting together for her. I think she's going to get a really funny kick out of that. Oh, I almost missed this. I got the six pack of the scotch. Uh, it's tape because obviously you need uh, tape to wrap Christmas presents and so I got the three rolls of gift wrap and then it's three rolls of magic tape I'm not exactly sure what the difference is but either way I bought this two years ago and it lasted for two years but now I'm completely out so I need a restock on the tape I got some of the Gillette sensitive plus shave gel i normally don't use this i use gillette but i use the sensitive in the men's i have a feeling this is ladies because it says island breeze i don't really think that would be for a dude maybe i don't know but i'm pretty sure this is a ladies one i usually use like the men's one but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try we were completely out of it and i saw it i grabbed it i put it in the cart i needed it so hopefully that works out my kids were out of shampoo and conditioner uh so i went ahead and grabbed this I actually think that may have extra conditioner all i know is that they have been using my money shampoo and that's a big giant no-no so i went ahead and grabbed the kirkland uh moisture shampoo and the moisture conditioner they like the pump bottles it's easier for self-control they don't go ahead and spill it everywhere so that will be good that they're replenished on that and then i went ahead and got this for them i'm gonna hide it before they get home but it's a gingerbread decorating kit this is the size of him like that's it and you don't have to bake it it's already ready to go 
he's this giant size. So I thought that's awesome. One for each kid and they can go ahead and have fun. Usually our elf brings fun activities for the kids to do. And so I know they're going to enjoy that. But all right, you guys, uh, I need to go and pick up my kids. I have been filming for so, so long. But that was my $606 haul from Costco. I still don't know how I spent that much. But anyways, you guys, I don't know if there's going to be a meal plan. I'm not exactly sure what goes on with my videos right now. This was a whim to film. So there might be a meal plan. There might be an outro. I don't know. But either way, this was 606 at Costco. All right, you guys, so that's it for this time's grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. No meal plan, just because these are still, like, videos that I filmed, like, a week or so ago, and we're kind of behind, but I will have a meal plan in that video you guys are going to see on Wednesday, which is a big, large holiday Walmart haul as well. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you get notified when I upload that video. Otherwise, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.